whistle would blow for a timeout, and you could see, it was almost like the life just went out of his body and his eye, and he just kind of like. Every time out, he was just like gassed. He was in pretty bad shape. I think it would, he, he, he stayed with it. And that whistle blew somehow, somewhere. He got up and played. Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan, at this advanced stage of his career, has to carry the team. He has to play extra minutes in a grueling series. And that last sequence in the final half minute plus is one of the greatest sequences you'll ever see in any sport. Phil comes in and says, what do you think? I say, look, I'm going to try. It's game five. If anything, I can be a decoy. So I'm going out. I'm going to play. At 3.30 this morning, Michael Jordan woke up with flu-like symptoms, had a stomach ache, in it, but he was in bed all day and continued to throw up. It's like 10, 10.30 at night. I'm hungry. We find one pizza place open. So he ordered a pizza. There's four or five guys outside the door. Five guys delivering one pizza. I take the pizza, I pay, I pay them. I said, I got a bad feeling about this. I wake up about 2.30 throwing up left and right my room hey man come to the room right now he's literally curled up in a ball so it really wasn't the flu game it was it was food poison michael takes it right to the rim and lays it in so now we need to stop when he made a layup and he went back down i knew they were running the patent and play through carl malone they ran that play a couple times prior and dennis and, and malone have been fighting all game and carl just totally forgot that i was on the weak side michael never cleared so malone doesn't See him, he comes from the blind side and strips him. Boy. Pippen into Jordan. Michael working on Russell. Malone is doubled. They swat at it and steal it. Jordan. Open. Chicago. On opposite sides in a scrimmage, and he's talking all kinds of trash. And I'm pissed because, you know, we're getting our ass kicked. Phil sensed my aggression. But he was trying to tone me down, and he starts calling these tick attack fouls. Now I'm getting mad because for you to be protecting this guy, that's not that's not going to help us when we play New York. It's not going to help us when we play these teams that are very physical. Winning has a price, and leadership has a price. So I pulled people along when they didn't want to be pulled. I challenge people when they don't want to be challenged. And I earned that right because my teammates came after me. They didn't endure all the things that I endured. Dennis came back and joined the team. And that's the way it went that year. I just want to take your body. Did you get your body through anything today, Dennis? You got to put your body through things so the muscles have a memorization, too. Yeah, yeah. Body, come on. Body, baby. No, no, no big. And you get back to the hotel, another large group of people. I wouldn't want to be like Mike. It's an impossible task. Doesn't matter where you are, man. Or you want to be in the building. the locker room next to God. Bam. Next to God. I just got one from it. <laughs> ah. Just kidding. Ah, uh, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Damn, that's a lie. Don't, don't, do not no, take that off the tape either. You better. He's not kidding. Shit. Yeah. Lord, I'm not with him. <laughs> I was that damn He's not kidding. Man. Don't, don't make, make sure y'all don't hear that. Get your ass out of here. Phil comes in and says, "What do you think?" I say, "Look, I'm gonna try. It's game five. If anything, I can be a." decoy so i'm going out i'm gonna play. phil took over and just had a different a approach doug's approach was more catered to michael and phil's approach was more catered to the team i wasn't a phil jackson fan you know when he first came in you know because he he was coming in to take the ball out of my hands doug put the ball in my hand when pippen didn't respond to that abuse there's nothing they could do to beat us in. Scotty was unshakable. Didn't even want a Band-Aid. When we saw that, it was over. You know, it was just like, okay, it's a foul. Uh, let's go ahead and finish kicking their ass and, you know, and put them out of their misery. The thing about Pip is, you know, if you stand next to him, you make him stronger. All the Detroit times, 
when Robin wanted to pick on him. He needed someone there to you know, stand there and say, hey, look, I fight with you, just fight. Scotty and I bonded, you know, because he felt like, oh, okay, someone who I can actually count on. And then Horace came right behind that. When Scotty left, I think Mike had a lot of confidence in me to knowing that I'm going to be there for him. I'm not going to let him down. I'm not going to let the team down. I'm going to let the city down. No. Rodman clears the defensive board to the board. Rodman battling for the rebound, saving it in. And Chris snatches it out of the air. And throws it. Now that's, that's winning basketball. Those are the plays that Dennis Rodman does to make his team great. Awesome. Dennis and I have this Native American bond between us. It comes in one day. Dennis and I met in the team room. In the team room, I have bear claw necklace, turtle shell that came from another Indian reservation, and various other Indian artifacts. Wow, he said, I have this necklace from the Ponca Indians in Oklahoma. In the tradition that I knew, you would be a Hayoka, a backward walking person. There were people that were different, and you're a Hayoka. So you're this Hayoka in this tribe. If Michael chooses to leave because there is another coach here, then it's his choice, not ours. We would love to have Michael back, but Michael is going to have to play for someone else. It isn't going to be Phil. Uh, if Phil's not back, then certainly I'm not back. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't leave me with any other choices but not to play next year. There's absolutely no room at all for you coming back under any other circumstances? No, no, none at all. Michael Jordan, 